Okay, hello everyone. This is uh, Mike Castillo from Flying to Fight Cancer and Great Sky Hobby. Uh, what I'm going to be doing today is um, showing how to uh, cover a plane with duct tape or either colored packing tape. Um, as you can see here, what I'm working on is on a F-16 from Phase 3. And uh, I'm covering up this one with duct tape and uh, packing tape. So this is the same fins from the same plane. So what I did is, uh, just for examples, I covered it in the two different color schemes and the camo is duct tape and the one on the right is colored packing tape. Um, the bottom of the fins, it's uh, checkered is the duct tape and the black is the colored packing tape. Uh, for the most part, the jet that I'm covering up in, in, in the camo and with the black scheme, um, I got the bottom of it done, uh, as you can kind of see here. Um, so it's pretty much with the black packing tape and the colored, I mean the uh, checkered uh, duct tape. So, got some more trimming to do on it, but got this one sided finish, uh, got this uh, side of the plane partially done. Um, did some black trimming with the camel on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this other side here just to demonstrate how I do it pretty much with the uh, with the uh, duct tape or packing tape, but I know others have different types of way of doing it. Um, so I'm just gonna just show mine, uh, so because there's some that ask them how to do that. So um, the way I'm doing it is, as you can see, I'm going from front to back, I'm not going from left to right. So um, what I did is I just started here on the side of the wing, laid the first side, and then just work myself over to the left and right. So what I'll do is um, I'll work uh, differently on this side which I'll start from the wingtips and work myself way towards the uh, fuselage. So, here we go. So what I'm using is the duct tape brand uh, Camo duct tape. It's pretty good. I like it. it. Does its job. So, here we go. So what I do here is I uh, start trimming pretty much lay on the edge. That way I don't have to worry about trimming on this side. I don't worry about trimming here, especially with this uh, camo. Um, I tend to put more of the different color patterns in the wing, not too much to the front or not too much to the back. So then later on I can go ahead and start lining it up. Kind of like on this side I did. So, And of course, I always work with the sharp blade. Press real firmly once you set it to the um, desired location where you want it. Um, then you go ahead and just uh, press on it real firmly just so it can grip the foam real good. So like with this uh, camel, you um, got the different colors of prints and stuff like that. So what I do is I just try to line it up as, as close as I can to the colors. So it's going to be hard to see right now. I'll show you. So as you can see, I kind of somewhat lined up the print just so it won't look too off. So, and then just pretty much just keep doing the same thing throughout the whole plane. Sometimes you might just have to flip it around just so the panels can line up better. Once again, just pretty much doing like a dry fit, see how it looks with the different patterns. 
So pretty much whichever one you think looks better, then you just go ahead and do it on that side. Starting, starting to get there. As you can see, it's just like with the other side. And then always on the leading edge, what I like to do is I like to leave some extra space so when I fold it, I can cut it to where on the bottom so where it kind of overlaps on the bottom of the wing. It starts curving, that's where you kind of, it gets a little tricky to know where to do the cut, just so you can release some of the tension on the tape, so it can fold to where you kind of want it at, so we'll see how this side works like this. So, right here on the lap, just press it firmly, and kind of bend it back over there. There we go. Sorry for the poor lighting. Hopefully this kind of gives you a rough idea how how to do it. So, um, so we'll trim. I'm just going to go ahead and trim it, so what I need to do is I just fold it over a little bit. And right here on this end, we just go ahead and just trim it. Just do a little cut. So you can kind of fold it over. So make it easier. If you want it to overlap more or not.
pretty much trim it down right there like that. So, let me see. Sorry for if it's poor quality, just recording off of my camera phone. So, but as you kind of see, kind of get in there. So now we just trim the side right here by the fuse. So we'll clean that up right now once we lay on the black on this side. So so this is pretty much uh, just colored packing tape. Uh, I typically just pick mine up from um, Tape Brothers. Um, they have all kinds of colors and they ship pretty fast and the prices are real good. So just to let you know. Not that I'm being endorsed by them. to do is I just like to take one whole strip all the way from the front to the back just to avoid looking so you won't see those two joining parts. You know what, sorry, we're going to have to put some more, um, some more camel up here just to take it a little bit higher. So. And we gotta cover this back section here. So what we'll do is we'll start with that back section first. that part. Trim it up. So there we go with that side trimmed up right here. on the foam, you don't have to cut that deep, just enough to where you can tear off the foam. 
you know, you're making little deep cuts into the bone that are not necessary. Up on the camel, so turn that up. As you can see, you don't have to cut that deep, it just tears off quick. Alright, so now we'll get to lay that black. So we do is just kind of lay it on there, not press it completely, just so it can kind of stay. And then from there we just line it up, make sure everything goes on good. I usually just like to start from the bottom and then work myself up to it. Okay, it's kind of crooked. So there we go, that's better. better. So now I just start pressing firmly. And then it's going to be certain spots to where you're going to have to kind of cut it just because of the fold and the curvature of the fuse it's just going to be too tight and you're going to end up getting wrinkles on the tape so I do just like around here and you can tell because you'll feel the tension on the tape and that's where you definitely got to cut a little slit on there and so there you go curve of the the nose there's too much tension on the tape so went ahead and did another slit there so so that's that so now we're gonna trim it right here slits just so it will slide on easier and all this I'm going to trim it later so 
There we go on that side. Oops, dropped the blade. And now we'll work on the fan and do the same design on the other side. So first off we'll lay the camo. Once again, sorry for the poor lighting. I know it doesn't probably look that great. Once again, turn the magic up red. So my battery's probably gonna die out, so I'll try to do this as quick as possible. So here's pretty much where you just go ahead and just cut the shape or design, whatever you want. So this one I kind of know where I, what I want, so I'll just start from here. You can mark it, and you can eyeball it, whichever you feel comfortable while we're doing. That's that. So now we got that little shape there, design, just like this other side. 